Hey, I'm Paul from Trusted House Painter. I'm here with Clay from Poise Painting, and we're staining these shingles with a semi-transparent stain. Let's go see what he's doing. So, Clay, what's hey, going on? Uh, just getting the first coat on everything here. Uh, we came in a couple days ago and did a wash of the exterior and washed and did a scrub uh, of the cedar shingles uh, to really get, as you can see, some of the loose and flaking stain off of it. Um, and we haven't done any sanding on these. Uh, with these cedar shingles, what I find is you really want to keep the wood fibers and try to continue staining them. Because uh, once you sand them, then they start to get thin and it actually messes with the wood grain. So stains start to absorb differently between one um, shingle and another. So this is sort of the perfect time we can come in, we can do a hose scrub and then we can leave the wood fibers. Uh, if you leave it any longer, you can notice this one's sort of starting to bow. So when they get really dried out, they sort of curve and then they end up when you try to pin them down, they snap. So just one here that's sort of starting to curve. Everything else is in great shape. Perfect time for us to come in and, and uh, preserve this wood and protect it for the long run. And what kind of product are you using? This is the Wood Pride Oil Acrylic uh, Semi-Transparent Stain from Dulux. You got uh, good results with it or what? Yeah, we were here last year to uh, do the shingles on the south side. And uh, yeah, the clients were really happy with the look of the product because they still wanted to have a little bit of the uh, wood grain showing through, but then wanted to have the color to it as well. Uh, so they're getting the both, best of both worlds there, uh, the protection and the wood um, look. And yeah. Any other tips you'd give for this kind of, how many brushes are you gonna go through on this job? Uh, I've got probably four days of staining and I've got four brushes. Uh, probably a couple for me, a couple for you. Um, as you can see, the best, the best way to work the product is to just gush it in and gush it in, get a lot on and sort of try and drive it into the wood fibers. So as you can see, the tip of the brush gets banged up pretty bad. So, and you've got the tape here. Yeah, it's uh, quite watery because it is a penetrating stain. So with that being said, it, it tends to drip quite a bit and you can sort of see already um, some of the splatter going on. Uh, so there's the metal flashing here and we could clean it up, uh, but as long as it's not on there, that's sort of the end result we need. So we can either protect it and not get it on or we can leave it and have to clean up afterwards. So it just looks a lot better when you're protecting instead of fixing a problem that's happened. So throw some tape on and keep everything nice and tidy. And okay. then up here, you can see we're all over the trim. Our contract here is to do the siding and do the trim. So we'll stain everything here. This is quite messy. And then the paint here is a lot easier to control because it's got a little bit more thickness to it. Uh, so here we'll paint two coats and uh, make it really nice and clean edges by the, by the time we're all done. And remember to catch your drips because there's lots of drips. Yeah, yeah, you always with stain, especially with all these angles, you can see here how the stain is running down in between it catches. So you always sort of got to keep an eye backwards on what you've already done to make sure that uh, any of those drips you get before they solidify. All right, thanks Clay. Keep up the good work. Yeah, thank you.